What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here on the Indie Rundown YouTube page. We are back to do something a little different today. It's a top 10 Game of Thrones episodes. We're going to go through them all from episode 10 all the way to our number one. I got another guest here. Troy's back on the show. This dude cannot stay away. What's up, bro? You got a crush on me. Admit it. I do. Um, yeah, we're here to talk some Game of Thrones episodes, man. You know, the, the new season's coming right up, dude. It's literally almost like two, two and a half weeks away, if you yeah. can believe it. So I thought, why not, you know, before season eight premieres, why not do like a list of our top 10 favorite episodes? Um, and th these are our lists, our own personal list. Um, there's a lot of good episodes I had to leave off the list. But um, that's the uh, the thing about ranking sometimes is you have to leave some casualties, man. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to start this list off. I'm going to go through my favorites, uh, number 10 through number six. And then Troy will do his number 10 through number six. And then I'll do my five through two, then vice versa. And then we'll do... Our number ones, we'll save them from last. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Number 10 on my list is Season 4, Episode 9, The Watchers on the Wall. Now, this was uh, one of my favorite episodes from this season, obviously, because I loved it. It was an entire battle set at Castle Black. This episode was just an overall monster for me. I, I loved it. I still love rewatching it, just the entire battle, the way it's choreographed, the way it's filmed. It's just it's just awesome to me, man. So let me move on to number nine. That is season one going way back. Season one, episode nine, Baylor, the classic episode that shocked everybody when we lost our main star of the show or who we thought was going to be our main star of the show, and that is Ned Stark. Something about it just holds a special place inside me. Like it, it just oh, resonates you. with me, you know. And this was very impactful for me because I remember you know, the whole time you're thinking, it's like, well, they're not going to kill Ned Stark, dude. I mean, he's the main fucking character of the show. He's 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 the guy. So agree. You know, agree. You're just like, okay, well, what are they going to do to him? I guess they're going to send him to the wall. How the fuck is that rest of the series going to play out? And then Joffrey said, you know, oh, treason shall go unpunished. Sir Ilan, bring me his head. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. You know, it's just the shock and horror just fills your face. But um, Nuts. yeah, man, it's just uh, it's just a wild episode that stands out to me. And I know a lot of people are shocked. And that's why it's number nine on my list. So let's move on to number eight real quick. And that is another tragic staple event in this show. Season three, episode nine, The Reigns of Castamere, a.k.a. The Red Wedding. Um, a lot of people hate this episode, understandably. Um, a lot of people were traumatized with this episode. Yeah, very staple episode for me. So. Uh, moving on to number seven, that's last year or the year before last, season seven, episode four, The Spoils of War. My big standout was the big battle, the field of fire, and then Arya coming home, reuniting with Sansa and Bran. I thought it was very, very great to finally see the Starks back together after all these years. Very big staple of last season. And at number six, I got The Dragon and the Wolf, the season finale for episode seven. A lot going into this episode. I don't want to recap, but my main highlights were Littlefinger finally biting the dust. The wall finally coming down because we knew it would after all these years to see it. It was awesome. Everybody coming together in the dragon pit. It was just an action packed episode. Reunion City, man. So definitely one of my favorite episodes of the series. So that's it. Now, episode six. Yeah, that was my 10 through six. Let's hear what you got to say, brother. Hit me with your 10 to six. All right, man. My 10 to six real quick. Number 10, season six, episode five, The Door. It's Ooh. a Hodor's death. Remains yep. the most devastating moment in Tired of Game of Thrones, hands down to me, because he was. My, I, I just love that guy. Yeah. Um, but you know, he went out like a hero, man, holding off the whites so Bran and Mira could escape. Um, also in the door, that's where the viewers get a true taste of, uh, you know, how powerful Bran's abilities are as a three-eyed mm -hmm. raven. Yeah. That's yeah. my number ten. Number nine, you just hit on it: the dragon and the wolf, season mm -hmm. seven, episode seven. No need to recap that. Uh, yeah. Number number eight is Blackwater for me. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, Blackwater, dude. Uh, it's we all we all know what happens in Blackwater. I'm not gonna hit on stuff, but it's yeah. amazing. Uh, number seven, Battle of the Bastards for me, mm. which is a uh, season six, episode nine. Um, do you you know what you know what that one's like, right? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna hit on it, so I'm not gonna. I'm not once again. Of I don't want to go into detail because we're doing of course. A, we're doing a quick one here. Yeah. And number six, uh, the mountain and the viper, my favorite fight scene in all of Game of Thrones. Oh, even though it's only between two guys, I fucking love the mountain and the viper was like kicking his ass till he was like a bitch started taunting him and then he crushes his skull. Yeah, I, great I episode, love that. Man. Great episode over and really sealed his fate though. Yeah. Shouldn't have been taunting, bro, but good list, man. Good list. I do got some of those on, on my uppers, so let's get right into it. My number five, The Laws of Gods and Men, season four, episode six, a.k.a. Tyrion Lannister's trial. Uh, 
what can I say about this that hasn't been said before? Just one of the greatest speeches, trials, the greatest scenes I've ever seen on 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 fucking screen, man. One of the staples of season four. That's probably obviously my favorite episode of season four. So fantastic. I love rewatching that scene. Just just everything about it just clicks with me. It was awesome. So uh, number four for me is season five, episode eight, Hard Home. One of the biggest battles uh, of the show. It was the biggest for the longest time. Yep. Uh, the Battle of the Bastards. Just, uh, you know, they show down with the Night King, the, the, the terror, the horrifying. Uh, this is the first time we really got like a really good sense of how fucking terrifying the, the army of the dead is. So imagine that times 10 in season eight. That's probably what we're going to get. So great episode. Loved everything about it. My number three, like you said before, Blackwater season two, episode nine. Fucking love this episode. I go rewatch it every time. I don't really like rewatching all of season two, but this is one that I always rewatched. You just the entire battle was fantastic. The choreography, the twists and the turns, you yeah. know, and, and my favorite line from this entire episode is uh, the hound. Fuck the king. Fuck this city. <laughs> Fucking exactly, love that. Exactly. Exactly. Love that shit, man. So, yeah, that's definitely a staple for me. And at number two, Battle of the Bastards, season six, episode nine. Like you said, one of the greatest battles on the show, which I think will be topped in season eight, but it still holds its own. The Ramsey and the Snow, Jon Snow storyline came to a fucking great end. We mm. saw Ramsey get his ass killed. But um, yeah, it, it just looked like a cinematic movie, man, out of Lord of the Rings or something. The battle was just so perfectly choreographed and cut together and shot. It was just, I, I get chills still when I watch this show. So yeah, that's my number five through two. Let's hear yours, bro. Uh, number five for me, season seven, episode four, The Spoils of War. Mm. That's, um, let me see where I did it. Yeah, where they, where they talk about the White Walker thread at Dragonstone. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where she fucks up everybody in that loot train battle. Dude, yeah, they, yeah, dude. Yeah. Where, where, they, where they first try out the, the, the big crossbow, the whatever the fuck, you know. Anyway, yeah. I, I, I love that episode. Amazing. Um, number four for me, the lion and the rose. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Great episode. Which is, you know what that one is? Uh, the purple wedding brother. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. One of the greatest, greatest uh, moments of the show. Yeah. Number three, the reigns of Castamere. You already hit upon it. Mm -hmm. Uh, red wedding episode was just, <laughs> dude. <laughs> heart, yeah, I mean, heart wrenching, heart wrenching. I mean, what do you Shock. do? Yeah. What do you do? What do you do, man? Oh, but still, number four, seeing, you know, the cute little boy king shithead die was awesome. Okay, yeah. that was number four. Yeah. Number three, Reigns Casmer, we talked about that. Number two, dude, Hard Home. Yeah. I, I love, love, love that so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just fantastic, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering what your number one is, man. Uh, you've, already, you've already mentioned it, I think. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same as mine. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, well, let's see. Let's move on to my number one. This is my are, personal favorite. Oh, are we, right. we going to say it at the same time? Yeah, uh, we can. Just want to count, want to count down from five? Are we going to say the name of the, of, of the episode or the season episode? Let's say the name. Okay, ready? Are All we right, going to yeah. one, two, three, then say it, or one, two, say it? <laughs> one, two, three, say it. Okay. All right. One, two, three. The Beyond winds the of wall. <laughs> oh, Damn. oh, oh. Wait, which is the, right. winds of, the Winds of Winter? Which is the that one? The Winds of Winter, the season six finale. The wildfire explosion. Cersei kills the... Oh, she blows, she oh blows shit. Up the sept. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Damn, that is, that is a good one. Damn it. Yeah, that's my all-time favorite, man. Um, well, let me, let, me, let, me, let me recap mine real quick, and I'll give you to yours. So my, my, my number one is The Winds of Winter, season six, episode 10, the, the finale of season six. One of the greatest episodes, you know, in my opinion. I love everything about this. The wildfire explosion, John revealing or Bran seeing the vision of John's true parentage, Tommen jumping out the window, Arya killing Walder Frey, and and Danny finally setting sail for Westeros. Just everything about this episode was awesome. The musical score, the piano score at the beginning of the episode, I, I loved everything about this episode, and it's still my favorite to this day. So, but yeah, that's that's my number one. Uh, the Winds of Winter. I hope I'm hoping that an episode of season eight can top it. But for now, that's my favorite. That's my list. Let's hear my boy Troy's no. number one. When I, oh, when he when he throws that fucking javelin and hits that dragon. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, man. Like you really like, thought Whoa, like this is a bad motherfucker. <laughs> you know. Like my mouth dropped when I saw that. Like, oh my god. And of course, honestly, as soon as that motherfucking dragon went into the water, I knew like, okay, that's how he gets a dragon. 
Okay. Yeah. But where did sure those, But where'd those chains come from? Where all the undead dragged him out of the fucking lake with? That is the million dollar question, man. That's the part bugs me. Every time I watch it, I'm like, oh, it's awesome, awesome. But then I was like, but where are these fucking big ass chains come from, dude? Yeah, yeah. It was it was too like, okay. I'm already stretching my disbelief, but you want me to stretch it even further. How dude, did they go massive, underwater, tie it ma- around the dragon, and then, you know, come on. Plus, and couldn't the Night King just like animate him and like levitate him up from the water or some shit? You'd think. He's pretty fucking powerful, huh? You'd think, dude. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, great number one, man. Like I said, yeah, Beyond the Wall is an honorable mention for me. <laughs> it show sucks. I'm not watching it. Yeah, yo, sure you are until <laughs> April 14th. Oh, I can't wait, dude. I know it's almost here, man. You know, April 14th is almost here. We've it's been since August of 2017, almost a year and a half, over a year and a half, right? It's been a long time. Yeah, in fact, I'm on the Game of Thrones police for um where, where there's the place oh, where, I, where where I film a lot of my auditions in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a huge like projector screen, and a bunch of actors are going to be there watching it. You know, so it's going to be a big thing. And there's me and this other actress. We're actually going to make it. I'll, I'll shoot you a link to the video later. We're making it. I think Friday. Or we're setting the rules up, but we are the yeah. ones that are going to be there, like enforcing the rules. No talking. <laughs> no cell phones out. You know, it's going to be very specific, like but fucking hardcore, dude. So yeah, that that's the thing about me is <laughs> it is. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but that's the thing about me is. Sunday, you know, I, I we'll go to my buddy's house and we'll all, you know, three or four of us watch it. But it's not, you know, it's it's the peace and quiet and comfort of his own house. Mm-hmm. Like we're all going to be quiet. But thankfully, I'm going to be around a lot of people who don't ask questions. They all know what's going on. They, you know, there's no like, wait, who is he? Wait, what are they doing? Wait, what's yeah. going on? So it's it should be a great viewing experience. So I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait. It's it's yeah. All right, man. Well, if you got anything else to add, man, let's get out of here. I just wanted to do a quick little. Yeah, Quick no, episode, you know, other Game of Thrones content is is always fun to do. I haven't done much of it. So, um, yeah, that's 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 going to do it, man. Top 10 episodes for me and Troy, man. This is the Indie Rundown channel. We'll catch you all next time. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at the Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, the Indie Rundown podcast.